it is time for something absolutely tasty. Let's start with almond nut butter. And this one only has one ingredient, roasted almonds. No extra oil, no nothing. It is just almonds in cream form. Look how jiggly it is. It just jiggle, 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 jiggle. Right? That's the consistency you want for what we're about to do. We're going to create the tastiest vegan snack of all time. And so here it comes. First, we need some dates. And you can do deglet dates. You can do medjool dates. Whichever dates you choose, it's going to be tasty either way. So here are some nice fresh medjool dates. And everything in this scenario is non-GMO, organic, fresh, and clean, and simple. Dates are a fruit. Almonds, they're nuts. And you put almond and dates together. And what do you get when you put almonds and dates together? Well, you're about to find out. What I need for this is a third ingredient. That third ingredient is a fork. So... Let's get a fork and let's put a fork in it. And this fork is going to be very important. Look at that date. Fresh, ready to go. You can eat it as is. It's a fruit, a very healthy and vital fruit. But what happens when we put almond butter and the date together? First, we immerse it. We saturate it and soak it in the almond butter. And this almond butter has already been stirred. It has. But it's going to settle a little bit. You know, after a day, hold on. Let me take a bite. Yep, that was absolutely awesome. So now, that's the most basic way to have a vegan snack that is both healthy and nourishing and invigorating. But let's elevate this one more step with some cocoa powder and a little bit of cinnamon from Tanzania. Any cinnamon will do. And any cocoa powder would do. But if you're going to go this way, you might as well go all the way. And so, got to put a little bit of Tanzania cinnamon on that dark chocolate. And let's see what we can do with this. Warning, it might get a little messy here. So, that's our second date. You should try to limit yourself to anywhere from two to four dates in an entire 24-hour period. I generally go a little bit uh, past that limitation or that recommendation. And my body handles, handles it just fine. But yeah, two would be the minimum to really enjoy this vegan snack. The most basic of vegan snacks. And now let's swirl it in a dusting of cocoa powder and cinnamon. And this is not for everyone. Not everyone can take the taste of the cocoa powder. Not everyone can take this combination. But with enough practice and experience, and yes, it does get messy sometimes, but at the end, it's absolutely scrumptious. Yep, so that is a basic vegan snack. One that is simple to put together and easy to assemble and even easier to consume. I hope you have the opportunity to try it.
I'll see you soon.